that I have felt really excited and nervous uh, before two meetings this year. One was at the National Women's Poetry Festival at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst, and the other was tonight. Uh, the San Francisco poetry audiences have a very um, have, a, have a reputation, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm really very happy to be here. I thought I would start by reading some poems from the Diving of the Red, and that set Lynn a long poem, and then I'll go into new poems and some short ones, and then end with a few more poems. called Incipients, and it's written for my sister. To live, to lie awake under scarred plaster, while ice is forming over the earth, at an hour when nothing can be done to further any decision. To know the composing of the thread inside the spider's body, first atoms of the web visible tomorrow, to feel the fiery future of every matchstick in the kitchen. Nothing can be done but by inches. I write out my life hour by hour, word by word, gazing into the anger of old women on the bus, numbering the striations of air inside the ice cube, imagining the existence of something uncreated. This poem, Our Lives. A man is asleep in the next room. We are his dreams. We have the heads and breasts of women, the bodies of birds of prey. Sometimes we turn into silver serpents. While we sit up smoking and talking of how to live, he turns on the bed and murmurs. A man is asleep in the next room. A neurosurgeon enters his dream and begins to dissect his brain. She does not look like a nurse. She is absorbed in her work. She has a stern, delicate face like Marie Curie. She is not, might be, either of us. A man is asleep in the next room. He has spent a whole day standing, throwing stones into the black pool which keeps its blackness. Outside the frame of his dream, we are stumbling up the hill, hand in hand, stumbling and guiding each other over the scarred volcanic rock. <laughs> <laughs> 